Good morning, afternoon, really. I won't lie, it's 12 o'clock to one o'clock in the afternoon. When I moved, I realized that I had a lot of things, A, that I didn't need, um, and B, that I hadn't used, and that I was still gonna keep. <laughs> so, I had a whole bunch of skincare, and there's, I have the skincare that I use like every day, which I'll show here, but <clears throat> I had a lot of skincare that I don't use, or I use very rarely, and it filled like an entire drawer, plus some shelves. So I was just like, I think that maybe I should probably start using it. And I was like, well, how can I implement it? Because I don't want to buy more skincare until I get rid of like a lot of it, or at least actually use some of it. I wanted to look in, I looked into the Korean skincare routine. There are 10, I'm doing the 10 step one. Um, I know there's a several other steps, other step routines you can do like five or 12. I'm gonna do 10. I'm doing it with products that I already own that I haven't really used since I got them. And hopefully it'll, you know, I'll find like my group here. Cause I really kind of want to get rid of a lot of the skincare stuff that I'm not using cause it's just going bad. And that's just money down the drain, almost literally. So this is the stuff I got together. So the first step, and I wrote it down. I wrote down the first step cause I didn't want to mess up. The first step was oil cleanser. Um, and I have here the Dermacologica, Dermalogica pre-cleanse, which is the Dermalogica first step. It's supposed to, it's a deep cleansing oil, melts impurities and makeup from skin. So I'm gonna do that first. I really like this project. I don't know why I stopped using it. I'm gonna take my glasses off now, don't freak out. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it smells really good, it's not like, uh, it's got like oil or mint, I think, or something. It's like a lemony, minty scent. I really enjoy it. I don't, I'm not wearing any makeup now. If you couldn't tell, I wasn't wearing any. So I think this step is really for people who do do a lot of makeup. Maybe you can skip it. I'm not 100% sure. Please let me know if anything I do in this video regarding Korean skincare and the 10 step routine is wrong. I know that on a few later steps, there's a part where I just kinda had to improvise, but I do want to know if I'm doing this correctly and maybe I'll appreciate the process. I maintain a consistent level of acne. I'll get like one or two pimples every couple months, like bigger ones, but I have like, for the most part, really small white heads and that, and they just don't go away. We use wet, wet, wet until it turns into this milky emulsion. I really enjoy washing my face. I also have one of those Vanity Planet facial brushes that I just, for some reason, I bought it because it was like um, on discount at the time, $45, I believe it was. And I used it, I think I used it for like a month and I still have it, just not, haven't touched it since. <sighs> I have a problem. Whoa, maybe I should have got a headband. I didn't think about it. Oh, I need to do my hair also. Please disregard how ugly it is right now. The next step is a foam cleanser. I lined everything up beforehand. Don't think I just came in here out the nut. Ew, why did I say that? Okay, so next is a foam cleanser and the one I have a sample of is the Coors Greek Yogurt Foaming Clean Cream Cleanser for all skin types. Um, like I said, I had this for at least, at least six months. I have no idea, it might not be good anymore, especially because it's got Greek yogurt in it. So it's just a rich, indulgent foaming cream that removes it effectively Impurities, makeup, and mascara without irritating, formulated with soothing Greek yogurt and natural cleansing agents. Soap free. Rub, oh, I shouldn't have dried my face. It says rub onto wet skin and rinse off with plenty of water. Okay. If it's foaming, in my opinion, and it gets all in my nose, I hate that. Well, it's not foaming the way I thought it would. Hmm. I thought it would be like a luxurious Dove commercial where they have like the grill on their shoulder. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I definitely got cool wipes. One thing I like to do, I don't know if other people do this, I like to just like, when I'm using cleansers, I'll let it dry out and then add more water and then keep cleansing until I'm ready to rinse. So I, especially with the milky jelly, I'll just, I'll let it, like I'll use it when I use it in the morning. I usually start with dry and then I'll 
rub it around and then use a little bit of water and get rubbed around more and use a little bit more water and in between those times to let it dry. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off now. It tastes terrible. I don't love this like dragging feeling. You know how it feels like you've left something behind? I hate that. So the third product is the exfoliant. Um, I know this one is pretty new. I actually got it, I think maybe three months ago at the most. This one is the Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser, Deep Skin Treatment with Gentle Exfoliation. Um, so wet skin, massage the facial cleanser all over her face and serve the motions deeply for three to five minutes until a rich lather is formed and then it rinse off and then dry. Um, I picked this one because, oh, I got way too much. One, it smells really good. It smells exactly like a pumpkin spice latte, which I hate that I like, but I do, and there's nothing that can be changed about that. And two, because it has gentle exfoliation, and exfoliation, I used to exfoliate way too much, like way too roughly, and I really enjoy doing a sort of uh, chemical exfoliation, which is why I like Solution, because it kind of does two steps for me of exfoliating and also just in general cleansing my skin. I actually haven't, this one I haven't used also. This is my first time using it. It smells like a candle. It smells like your grandma's kitchen when she's making you delicious pumpkin scone. That was nice. I like the light exfoliation. I usually use, if I want to really exfoliate, I used to use that apricot cleanser by uh, Equate and or St. Ives, whichever one you would pick up. Oh, my hair is so wet. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh there's cleanser in my hair line. Pumpkin walnut cleanser. I really enjoy it. I like the smell and it says feel renewed. I actually do feel a little bit renewed. My skin feels just a little like tingly. Not really in a way that's concerning. Just uh, letting me know that I've kind of gotten rid of a layer of skin just now, but in a nice way. Okay, so the next step I think you're supposed to follow is toner. And ooh, I got, I have here the Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and Rosewater Toner. Um, I haven't really used a toner in a long time. I use, like I said, solution. About, I said that about 50 times. I do use solution, but it's not really a toner. I guess it's more like a chemical exfoliant, um, but I do think I use it for both, like just to cleanse off the rest of the dirt, which at this point there can't be any left, right? Like there can't be any dirt left. With the solution, I usually do find after I've washed my face with milky jelly that I have a little bit of dirt left on my skin. So I just use it for both. I used to love astringent. I used to love it because I feel like it was actually cleansing my face. That was one thing I really wanted and skincare was something that felt like or look like it was cleansing my face. Like if I used a cleanser, I'd want it to be really bubbly. If it was astringent, I wanted to sting. Even if I didn't have any open pimples, I look. I really, really, really want to know that my skincare is actually working for me. I'm also gonna go. I always go behind my ears with toner because I get little bumps back there. I always clean up back there, just in case. And also eyebrows. You never want to forget your eyebrows because it's the absolute worst when you get pimples up there. Also, I'm gonna go hard on this area underneath my my lip for some reason. Now I don't know if this is everybody, and I actually don't know if these are actually pimples. I feel like they are, or at least in some form of acne. But they always, it always is there. They're never gone. Ooh. You know those beauty fridges that people like to use, I kind of get it now. I was sick like for a month <laughs> and I had my, I have a range of different diseases over that whole time. But my last one was a sinus infection and I put my jade roller that I got from five bucks from Ross, which is probably not made of jade, in the freezer for like two minutes and it felt so good like on my sinuses. Ugh. The next thing on the list is essence. And every item that I looked at online that has essence in it says essence. And I don't have anything that says essence, so I just looked at what essence is supposed to do, which is balance the skin, apparently, with hydration. So I just picked something that I have that's supposed to hydrate, which is the Bliss 
drench and quench, cream to water, hide moisture for all day, um, hydrator for all day moisture. I got this because I really wanted to find, I was on like a hunt for like a really good moisturizer that I didn't feel would sweat off at the end of the day. Cause like, and at the middle, I get really oily as I mentioned. And in the middle of the day, I just like, I just like, I get so, you can just tell that my moisturizer has given out and I'm just really just inner skin oily on my face. And so I don't know what I was using. Something I was using was, I think the Pacifica Sea Rescue moisturizer, um, but it was actually drying out my skin, which I couldn't deal with. So I got this instead and I really like it, but I just stopped using it. I don't remember really why. Um, I think just because it wasn't lasting as long as I wanted to was all. But I really like the water aspect of it, like the sinking into the skin water aspect. And right now I'm feeling real moisturized and real clean. Like this, at this point is where I would probably stop doing anything. I don't think I really, I wouldn't think I need anything else, but there's like five more steps or something. So the next one is the serum, which we're lucky I have, because serums, all serums, say serum and I have once again only almost no products I have one product that says serum so I am using that it is the CEO rapid flash brightening serum by Sunday Riley it's almost almost completely empty and it's I've been saving it for like a nice day like a good occasion to use serums I found out they're supposed to be water based um, so hopefully this one is I actually have no idea it has THD activate Gold thinner vitamin C to rapidly brighten the appearance of skin and boost vital skin bounce in a flash. And so hopefully that meets the standard of what I'm supposed to find in a serum because I think that this, I looked up the product and I really like it, by the way. I really like the product, which is why I kept it and didn't use it at all because it's expensive. I wasn't gonna buy another one. If there's something that you think is kind of the same, please let me know because I really like this stuff. So I'm just gonna use this. It's a bit thicker than the Bliss, and it feels actually like a lotion and not like a, like the water-based thing. And I love the vitamin C aspect. And I just want to use it every day of my life. It's so nice. <laughs> Next step after serum is eye cream, which I have, but this is, and this is the only, I have eye cream. This is the only eye cream I have. It's the Mario Badescu Ceramide Herbal Eye Cream for all skin types. And it's a really small amount and I'm kind of worried that it's not good anymore because it's completely dry, uh, which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> it's like fully dry. It's like a, it's like a, like a pomade now. I don't even know what's happening. I'm gonna see if I can get some product out of this. Oof, it went dry. It's also was a hair in it and I know I haven't opened this. I'm upset. Fifty thousand dollar nails, disrespect. I know you're supposed to be gentle with eye creams, and now I'm kind of sad because I don't. I don't have one. I was so happy. I was like, I have every product. Okay, I'm gonna smush this between my fingers and apply it gently to my eyes. I'm just gonna do my best here. I think I'm gonna have to throw that out. <laughs> I just don't know if this, I don't, I really feel like this is not how it's supposed to work. I wonder if that's why they put it in this uh, little Rose Essential set, because they knew it was going bad and they wanted to get rid of it. They still make a profit. They just now released that uh, Glossier Eye and Lip Cream that's supposed to help plump your areas. So I'm not gonna get it, but. Cause I'm not buying more skincare. Um, I'm just not realizing this area, my like eyes are dark. What? I look like an owl or like a panda bear. What's going on there? That's interesting. I got eye cream in my eyelashes. Let's just do the next step, which is the, oh, I skipped one. Oops, I skipped the sheet mask. I'm gonna do it now, but I skipped it. I have one of these Tasha Dewy Skin Masks left. I got it in my Glossier, or my Glossier, in my BoxyCharm box one time, and I just was saving it, and so I'm gonna do it now. I don't know what happened to the other one. I thought I had two, and I just do not remember using the other one. And we all know Tasha's like a really good 
brand. So I'm really excited to use this. I really don't think I use the other one. <laughs> oh, this is liquidy. Oh my God. I actually don't like skin masks. I'm pretty sure I've said that before, but I just do not enjoy them. They usually, if they're like fruit based, they smell like alcohol. This one though, kind of smells like just lotion. All right, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oh, so cold. Oh, this kind of smells like medicine, like a like a medicated lotion. Ooh, I like that. I like that the paper is thick. I look like a murderer. Let's just be clear. We all know it. That area right here is like kind of burning. I don't know why. Hopefully that no, hopefully none of these products react terribly with each other because that would suck ass. Okay, so I'm supposed to keep this on for 15 minutes. So I will see you in 15 minutes. So before I took this off, I just wanted to say what was in it because I didn't before. And I just want, it's, uh, it's got rice germ oil, green tea and algae um, to help restore youthful radiance, which I need. Everybody thinks I'm like 15, so <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go and take this off now. That was nice. I actually really like that mask, this mask. Um, most masks I really just do not enjoy and they just feel suffocating. So then you're supposed to just like massage it into the skin and down the neck. I learned that, I believe, from Jonathan Van Ness. I feel like I've got like 70 layers of product on my face, but I can't be mad about, because I did this to myself, but still. I don't know, somehow my skin feels raw and moisturized at the same time, if that makes sense. Along with me. Yeah, while I was wearing the mask, I, oh God. I uh, watched an episode of Adventure Time. You know, the critically acclaimed Adventure Time. I know what you're thinking. How could she, how could she have gotten her hands on such a rare and amazing show? Well, my ex gave me a copy of the DVD that I had never opened until I moved in here. <laughs> and I don't have cable. <laughs> I've been watching The Office and Adventure Time in different intervals. <laughs> I feel like there's like a far, my skin looks really great. Just like, in general, not like just right now, just in general, but like up close, there's all these like small bumps here and here, and here, and I don't know how to get rid of them. So if anyone does, please tell me. So the last step of the 10 step Korean skincare process for daytime is moisturizer and then sunscreen. And for nighttime, it's moisturizer and then a night cream. Uh, which I actually have, and I should have done that at night. But I don't have any sunscreen. The moisturizer I use right now, CeraVe, has broad spectrum SPF 30. I use that on most days, even though I'm not outside at all, but it's still important, still important to wear sunscreen. But today we're gonna use the Formula 1006 Seriously Shine Free Mattifying oil-free moisturizer, aloe vera and bamboo, which I have got because I, I don't know. Like I, oh yeah, cause I said like, I got it because I was once again looking for a moisturizer that I would really enjoy. Um, that was lightweight, but would last all day and would uh, hopefully keep me from looking oily by the end of the day. Um, but this one was just not doing it. Like it does mattify and moisturize, but my entire issue was that I didn't want to be oily halfway through my day at work. I also think that the, the original, like the or like the first sniff smell is good, like, but when you rub it in, it kind of smells like dust. I don't know what that is. Like it smells kind of sweet, but also kind of dusty, like a dusty towel, like a clean, but dusty towel, you know what I mean? So that's why I stopped using it, but I guess I'll try and use the rest of it because it's a basically full bottle that I bought for full price that I was just like, I don't want to use this anymore and I just put it to the side. So that's the, that's the moisturizing step and then there's the SPF step, which I will use because I am going to leave my house at some point. And so, yeah, 
So my feelings on the 10 step Korean, the 10 step Korean skincare steps <laughs> is that it is a lot. My skin feels, and I guess I'm supposed to do this for a long time to get results, but I really just wanted to see if I could complete the entire routine with just products that I already owned. And I think I did. Like I said, the essence part, that one, that may be a little suspect. And I might use this, I might do this for a little while. I don't know if I will. Maybe I'll do it every weekend just to kind of reset and refresh my skin. I feel like I've had a lot on my skin. That's what I feel like, which is what I guess you're supposed to feel like. I think that it's a really cool way to make sure that you're getting as much benefit out of your, out of your skincare routine as you would like. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having a good skincare routine. I, skincare is my favorite thing to do when it comes to hygiene, like brushing your teeth, whatever, showering a second. But uh, I do brush my teeth, <laughs> by the way. But um, I think that skincare is definitely a more fun step that you can be creative with. Um, and you know, see if you can find whatever benefits your skin best. So I really like skincare. This was just like, I don't know, this video is 37 minutes long at the moment. And it's like, do I have 37 minutes? Then again, even if I have five minutes, sometimes I do skip. Like once a week for sure, I skip washing my face. Even, and usually on the weekends I don't. So like four days out of seven days, I'll wash my face morning and night. <laughs> And so in some mornings, I'll just spray rose water and be like, that's good. Right now, I feel like, I feel like several layers have sunk in, like I could feel it in there. And I don't usually feel that. Usually I want something that I can't feel, that I feel that in my subconscious or in my conscious mind means to me that it worked. Like it's in there in a way that it wouldn't have been if you could feel it. If I could sweat it off, then I don't want it. If you, does that make sense? Like I want something that sinks in. So yeah, I really liked this video. I did. I've been thinking about it for like two weeks. I was like, I'm gonna do it. And I was like, ah, I gotta do it. Try it out. If you would like, try out a 40 minute skincare process. Or if you want to get the glass skin, a lot of people, you a lot of reasons why I think a lot of people don't do it is because they think you have to have the Korean skincare products. And there's several products that aren't Korean skincare that I saw in the list of things that you should get based off your skin type. And like I said, I just did it with things that I just had so much of. And I think to get rid of all of them, especially this is a good way to do it. So to use them all, actually get my fucking money's worth. <laughs> Cause I spent probably on just the products I use at least a hundred dollars, like at least. Obviously a box of charm and stuff, you know, break that down how you want to, but maybe $50, 50 to $100. And that's in, that's not including the stuff that's in that drawer that I haven't touched yet. Yeah, that's my review. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, subscribe to this video. I think you would like to. You should, you should do that. I don't see why you wouldn't. I think it would be a good endeavor for you and for me. Like mostly for you though, you get a lot of benefit. Meanwhile, I have to do this now for like a week at least, right? Like I have to do it for like a week. So <clears throat> please let me know if you enjoyed this process. Uh, if you have any comments about what I used and maybe how I could improve it, if I wanted to consider doing this more often, just let me know. Um, if you use the 10 step skincare routine and it changed your life wildly, please also let me know. Cause that'd be really fun to hear. Maybe it would motivate me to dedicate a half hour, because I think I could get it done in a half hour. If you, besides the sheet mask part, it's really not that much. Like just slap it on, pow, 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 you're done. So yeah, I'm gonna go now, cause I, you know, I like to ramble at the end of these things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video um, for both of our benefits. Remember, it's for both of us. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. I don't know what it's gonna be. But I'll see you then. <laughs> okay, bye.